So now we've measured all these lines. These lines, what I mentioned already, indicate the stress wave speed. And once again, we only can rely on the blue and the green ones. We know that the wood was intact there. But the red lines indicate between these sensors there's something wrong, but we don't know what is wrong. And by combining this information from these different lines, the computer program automatically transfers this line graph into a two-dimensional stress wave tomography with the colors. And so, and you see that it takes about 20 minutes for such a cross-section. Drilling is much quicker. So, and from drilling, in addition, you know down to a millimeter the dimension of the residual wall, but you know it only on the point. So, if you drill it on the wrong point, the drilling doesn't help. This is not as precise as the drilling, but it shows approximately the situation in the complete cross-section. And the main information that is coming from this, in this case, between the sensor 3 and 4 and between 6 and 7,